Good morning, watch fans. This is Big Jim with the Big Wrist. With all the hoopla around the Swatch system, the Swatch Blanc Pond collaboration, and uh, Blanc Pond's never had a quartz watch, and they never will, apparently. This is what the CEO has said. Uh, they put a System 51 automatic Swatch movement in it, and this is the System 51 automatic movement. It's, you know, really just decorated with a sticker. I'm sure it's some kind of, you know, dye sublimation style uh, sticker. And you can see the outer ring. Let me get it moving for you. It moves. It has a unidirectional rotor that goes around the entire outside. That entire outside is a rotor, uh, giving it 90 hours of power reserve. This one has about 92 hours of reality. Uh, you know, it's, it's accurate. It's a four second a day watch. Um, you know, this is a $230 watch on their strap, and I bought this aftermarket strap off Amazon for 9 bucks, much superior to the strap that came with it, much like the crappy strap that came on that uh, Swatch Omega uh, a, a disaster from last year. Uh, the strap here is also is terrible, So, uh, but again, a $9 strap fixed the problem, and it became very wearable at this point. Um, you know, 50 meters of water resistance, 90 hours power reserve. It's got a high polish everything. Very simple watch for 230 bucks. I think it's a good value. I know the movement's very well received. The movement's actually a very good movement. Um, you know, it is a real legitimate Swiss-made movement. It is 100% robot assembled and made, so they can put it together super fast and super cheap. And I'm sure that Swatch has done the same thing with the Blanc Pond. That they did with this one and just basically everything's done by a robot and they're charging a 40 percent premium so they're charging 400 dollars for that watch and i think at 300 maybe 350 on the outside it's probably an outstanding deal but of course they got a, they sold the rights you know uh blanc pond sold the rights of their name to swatch uh or traded the name whatever they did so they need to make their money. They make their 50 bucks on the watch also. So $400 for a Swatch, I think it's a little high for an automatic Swatch. Uh, you know, if I run across one at retail, I'd probably buy one uh, just so I can have it. Um, it is a good looking watch and I have no issues at all with the movement whatsoever. It's a good movement. Um, it is a non-repairable one-time use movement, probably the last 10 or 20 years. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, and I'm a collector. I have a lot of watches, 50 plus. So this is just me timing in on the Swatch System 51 movement. Uh, I think it's a good movement. Uh, I think it's, I think at $400 it's overpriced. I think at $230 you can buy the same exact movement in a Swatch and be very happy. They make this in a bunch of different versions. Um, uh, I like the blacked out stealth version with the center seconds, uh, you know, the, I love that a lot. I think it's really great. I'm with that, um, excuse me, the small seconds at the six. I think it's fantastic. Uh, no, you haven't got to worry about it. The ticks and, you know, 19,000 vibrations, I believe is what it is, instead of 28, like a lot of Swiss watches, 28,000. It's a pretty slow movement, gives it an enormous power reserve, but it's an accurate movement. So, you know, accuracy is all that really matters, in my opinion, uh, followed quickly by longevity, and then, of course, serviceability. This one being non-serviceable solves the issue by being so inexpensive. This is just my opinion of the Swatch System 51. It's a pretty good movement. If you run across the, the Swatch Blanc Pond, let me know. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Have a great day. Bye.